Hi there! In this episode I would like to show you some secrets behind the editor mode. It's a very powerful tool, so we are gonna split it in a few parts, but don't worry, we have plenty of time. The thing you have to know is that the editor mode is the right place to create the laser magic. In this place you will create all mesmerizing animations, immersive shapes and transitions, so it's very important to focus, make notes and practice. Good luck! In this part I will introduce you to the shape tab. I will explain the basics behind these tools and show how to use them. Let's start with the shape tab. You will find here line drawing tool, circle drawing tool, wave drawing tool, curve drawing tool, free drawing tool, a text drawing tool, symbol tool and arbitrary function drawing tool. All those shapes are very important or very helpful to start with basic shape in the editor window. For example, if you would like to draw or create a fan, you can use a line drawing tool. If you wish to create some tunnel, circle or any other curved shape, then you can use the circle like this. For a line you will get this kind of effect. As mentioned in timeline tutorial, you can also have button to switch 2D and 3D preview. So I really encourage you to use that because it's easier to imagine how the animation or uh, the projection will look like because this one is kind of flat right now so we can click and we have combined 2d this one with 3d preview so it's for me it's it's uh, the best view because you don't need to struggle to imagine what did you draw and how it can look like uh, live so as said before for now we have circle and a line let me uh, delete it by selecting first and, and the second uh, drawing. You can just hold command button in case of Mac OS or the control button if you are using Windows. Select it both, right click and delete. Okay, next one, uh, wave drawing tool. Click, hold and drag it to draw a wave. And as you can see here, we have a new window with settings next to the uh, wave drawing tool. And we can select frequency and the uh, amplitude. Also, we can set the offset of the wave. And this is how it looks, uh, how it works like, and what uh, will happen when we change the frequency. For example, for now, we have uh, a fre frequency set to one which means it's only uh, one change in the amplitude is like one uh, full frequency if we set to 1.5 then we will see something like this okay delete it and frequency 2 then we have one full wave and second full wave. Long story short, that is for uh, for what uh, frequency is. Okay. What is the amplitude? I bet you probably know. For example, for now we have 10k amplitude. Let's set it up to. Uh, for your information, if you right click on the slider, you can put the uh, value manually. It's more precise. So let's say 5k. And that's the difference. So the amplitude is way smaller. And it's not that aggressive like, like the first one. Of course, if we select the negative 
value, for example, this one, we will have um, the wave starting to go from the other side, kind of other side. Uh, I will show you this one also as an example in comparison to the uh, to the positive value and I, I believe you can spot the difference this one uh, which was negative first of all it's going up and down and this one the opposite down and up if we put one on another we have like DNA the last one a parameter is the offset so once again for the comparison it's uh, zero degrees and let's say 180 what's changed honestly it's almost the same as the amplitude but now we are using the same uh, amplitude all, all only change the degrees which means that uh, the wave was moved by 180 degrees it just went uh, 180 degrees uh, in own axis for now it's kind of hard to do show that and explain because it's static image it will be easier to spot the difference once we will go to animation section and I will explain how animation works. Then you will see what the uh, 180 or any other degree offset means. Believe me, it took me a while to figure it out. So it will be easier to, to see that once we will uh, go to the uh, animations. Let's delete it. Curve drawing tool. It's just for uh, drawing curves and this is how it works like just hold the left mouse button if you release the button you will see two parameters to change the the curve you can adjust it as you as you wish and that's pretty helpful if you would like to map some surface or recreate uh, some logos and you will need perfect curve in perfect angle then you can adjust it very precisely of course you can use that for uh, laser shows too we will uh, make some examples later but long story short you can just set perfect angle for your application in any situation you will need to like this one here and to apply the changes just press enter to finalize the curve and we have half of our tunnel next example free drawing tool it's nothing else like just free drawing I believe I don't need to explain it more <laughs> because you see how it works like it's nothing complicated no-brainer here next one text drawing tool first of all we, uh, we we have to import a laser boy font you can find these uh, files in the subfolder ILT. Fonts in the Laser Boy current zip file included in the Laser Show Gen installation folder, all downloaded from Laser Boy ORG. Okay, once we uh, select and load the font, we can just click on the editor window, type text. Okay so enter text so we have text and here it is and the good thing is that we have each letter separately so we can change the position once again to select the object on the editor window just hold the command button or 
use this select feature. I prefer to do that with the command because it's easier and quicker. And we can move all letters, all objects in other place. If you have a lot of objects in the editor window and would you like to delete it all at once, you can go to file and click new, then you will get new uh, editor window or just click command or control and A and you will select all objects at once, then just click somewhere inside this square right click delete and it's gone next is symbol tool you can also write some symbols and write some text in this way in situation if you don't have uh, laser boy fonts install it and you can find a lot of symbols over here so it's also a pretty nice feature You can, of course, edit uh, the size of that symbols, select them and use this one to resize it or this one to, to rotate it. Once again, select this one this button to resize and this one to rotate the object okay control a right click delete all right this one is for uh, making functions uh, honestly i don't know how exactly does it work i'm not using it and as i said at the very beginning i'm gonna show you the ways i'm creating my shows i'm gonna share my all knowledge and this course is not about the laser show gen in general i'm not gonna teach you about all features all modes or or all settings because even i don't know them so let's focus only on those things I'm using, I know, and I can explain how it works. And that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching and feel free to go to the second part of the introduction to the editor's mode, which is colors. Have fun. Yeah.